Hi there. Taco Bell time, Taco Bell time. We have a lot to talk about today. Oh. Hi, by the way, guys. Oh yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah, Lacey. Hey. I'm Alyssa. And we're the <laughs> Venus Baby. Venus Baby is a whoa, whoa. Dude, this chalupa is about to be my <laughs> Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm experiencing it with you. This is what I love about Tauruses. When I think about who do I want to eat a meal with, who do I want to relax and watch TV with? Who do I want to spend time with enjoying life's pleasures? It's this one. It's me. It's me. Why is that? Because, like, Tauruses are so chill and they, like, live for the sensory pleasures in life. They are the most sensual sign. So, I think more so than Libra. Tauruses always bring out, like, a side of me that really wants to, like, relax. Cause I'm doing it with or without you, but <laughs> it would be a lot more fun if you were doing it too. <laughs> this has been a great video. <laughs> I know. We we haven't even told you exactly what we're even talking about today. Should we come back after we've eaten? We thought it would be fun to like <laughs> eat and talk at the same time, but apparently we can't f do that. We can't function when we're this hungry. Our mind is just set on like. <laughs> we'll see you guys in one sec. We're back, you. We, we're, we've eaten. That Taco Bell was the <laughs> filled us up. We're ready to talk about some interesting things. So throughout our podcast, we mentioned multiple times that Alyssa has a crazy Scorpio ex. I told my therapist, I'm in this new relationship and I really want it to work out but a lot of times I feel like I'm bringing like my baggage from my ex into this relationship. It's like, you know, you, you experience something so you feel like you need to like learn from that mm -hmm. and sometimes you overcompensate mm -hmm. and then it becomes unhealthy on the opposite end of the spectrum. I told her like, I know why I still bring my old baggage into this new relationship. Hey, Butterfinger. And she's like, why? And I was like, <clears throat> well, it could be because I still have like some of his stuff in my room. <laughs> and she literally went, that's it. You have demons in your room. She's like, you need to get rid of his stuff. There's a demon in your room. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, you're right. That I, I've been thinking the same thing and I just need to do it. She's like, yeah, get some sage. <laughs> so that's what, that's kind of what we're doing today. We're gonna basically be getting rid of her crazy, toxic Scorpio exes And I feel like some people are like, why are you telling us this? <laughs> Being open can make people feel strange because people have a hard time dealing with their own feelings, let alone other right, people's. Right, right. But the thing is, I know there are also like so many people out there who've been through this. So my ex, my toxic ex, my crazy toxic Scorpio ex, <laughs> was my first love in high school and it was like a relationship that kind of spanned over like seven years with a break of like three years in between and then some sprinkles of like here and there conversation in those three years because at one point he would not leave me alone literally stalking me <laughs> on instagram under like different accounts he still does that we he see still. you we're not idiots very scorpio mm -hmm. unevolved behavior like obsessive mm -hmm. stalkerish manipulative kind yeah. of behavior mm -hmm. can we talk about the big one his big flaw oh his biggest flaw he's a cheater he 
cheated all the time. One day, it's like, I love you so much. Like, I, lo I love you more than anybody I've ever loved. Like, yeah. It goes even deeper than that, too, because Scorpios, they're very deep. Very deep, they make, yeah. they make you feel like, like, like there's some like, deep like so attachment. And, yeah, bond there. there. Yeah. yeah. And as a Pisces Venus, I'm like, oh, really? Like, <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it was just toxic. It just was toxic. It was unhealthy. We didn't even know how to communicate to each other it wasn't one of those things where like he cheated and then we could like work through it potentially because I know that some married couples do that it's rare but there are couples who have had cheating and have recovered from it right but that wasn't the case and we're also not married we're in our early 20s I don't have kids with you I don't have a house with you I have no attachment to you so out of here that's how Lacey feels about it out of here. But that wasn't <laughs> how I felt about it. I was like, well, we've talked about all these things. We made promises to each other. It was very idealized, very yeah. Pisces Venus. Yeah. Like, oh, we like loved each other in high school. Like, oh my God, like. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's fing. He's We know you You are the most recent. <laughs> She said that I said she looked like an egg. I never said that. Well, now we've cracked the can of worms open, you know? Mm -hmm. Might as well. Might as well go for it. I could keep going on the list, but I feel like I honestly can't even, Remember. like, there's, <laughs> there's, there's so many, like, that I couldn't count them on my fingers and toes. <laughs> and I know what you guys are thinking. Lacey, how are you sitting here as a friend and watching this happen? <clears throat> Well, <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> as if she wasn't getting like cheated on all the time, like as if it wasn't hard for you. <laughs> it was so it was hard. So hard. I, to to you know that. I knew about this person when she was dating him in high school. In high school, mm -hmm. but had never met him. I had never met him because because he isolated he, me. He so isolated her from everybody everything. and everything. Yeah, like all my friends at high school, mm -hmm. my friends outside of high school. Mm -hmm. He also very much pulled you away from like any of your passions or careers. He would say that he wanted to kind of just live off the coattails of like his friends who were potentially gonna be successful. And he didn't like care if he was My sleeping God. on couches. And I wanted to like make things for myself. I you wanted want a to house. like have a nice house in a nice area and like ha be able to travel and go to like cool yeah. places and have the luxury of life, you know? Yeah. He made me feel bad for like wanting more for myself. Like, oh, you don't have enough just like being with me. So yeah, it just kind of like made me feel like shame and like wanting more for myself. Like I knew about some things that had happened and like here's my thing, like I had my opinions about it, but I think like they have to learn on their own. And like obviously I didn't sit there and be silent. Like I told her like that's not cool. Like yeah, she you would don't be like that. Up. It was not my job to be like you if you're gonna do that like it's like she loved him what am I supposed to say stop loving him like so yeah I didn't know him during that time and then they broke up and she was with someone else I knew that person yeah you knew my Libra ex and then when you got back with this Scorpio ex after you this person you broke up then I met him when you and I moved in together because I was forced to like see him on like FaceTime, FaceTime and stuff like that. And then he visited. And then he visited. And then you met him. And then I really met him in person. During that time of us living together, I saw so many instances of like, just the anxiety of like, finding girls on Instagram and figuring out and like, pu always putting together this puzzle piece, like this, like love was so tragic. One thing I specifically noticed just in like my first few months of like living with Alyssa, basically this is a specific scenario that happened and this happened repeatedly where like Alyssa and I would be like sitting on our couch watching Billy on the street, Billy on the street <laughs> on Netflix and Alyssa would just like be on her phone and be like, <gasps> and I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, oh, this I know this just talking to this like I know she would just like put the pieces together yeah like, you start to connect moment. the dots 
the biggest thing that I was upset about whenever cheated was that he lied to me about it. Yeah. I was like, don't, just don't lie to me about it. Yeah. If you do something, tell me about it. Tell me about it right away. But if you lie and I catch you in that lie, And I would just constantly catch him in lies. Catch him in lies. You know, I would like start connecting the dots. You would know ahead of time. I probably. would know, and then I would ask him, and mm -hmm. then I would be like, "You are mother and lying," and I have the receipts. He, I'm sure he did more that I'm you don't sure know he about. did more that I don't know about. But and I'm not surprised. But it's like almost every time I found out, and it didn't click in his head, like. Oh, she finds out about this. <laughs> she can see that I'm commenting on other girls' pictures on Instagram. Yeah, no fucking shit. <laughs> We're like FBI agents. Yeah. We're going to, and if she doesn't, her homegirl will figure it out. And if you are talking to somebody who you suspect might be with somebody else, reach out to that person and say, hey, I'm coming to you respectfully. I think that your significant other is flirting with me or trying to talk to me or get and with me. And you should know about this. And you should know about that. Out of all of the girls that I can't count on my fingers and toes, I can remember just one mm -hmm. who told me. It's so easy to just send a message. And then, and then you find out for yourself and then you know if if this person is available or not. Why would you even want to get caught up with somebody who is already like with dealing, with, with, someone dealing else. with someone else? Also like women to women, there needs to be some sort of like sisterhood. We can be adults here, we don't have to be friends, but like literally like let a no. Alyssa would be figuring something out, connecting the dots, and then she would show me, and I'm like, oh, yes, and like, I'm noticing it too. And uh, he would say, if you can't trust me, then we can't be together. I'm like, yeah. I can't trust I, you, and you've shown me that I can't trust you. Yeah. Basically, she would catch him in it, and they would get on the phone, and since you're not dating her anymore, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, she would leave it on speaker, so, so that way have I could have a witness. Cause she used to be alone in all this, and since we were living together, now she could have someone hear how he speaks to her. He would like go back and forth about how to like express these feelings and still keep the relationship together. We'd prepare this whole like what we're gonna say to him when we call him, what she's gonna say when we, call, when she, well, I was there. Um, <laughs> she would start to say it and he would just like talk over you and talk over you and like he would say all these like super childish things and like it got to a point where it was like kind of making us laugh. Yeah, like, it was in a weird way. Comical. It became like a thing. She would be like, why are you cheating on me? Like, why do you always have to cheat on me? And he's like, Alyssa, like, why are you being mean to me? Yeah. You another girl, my dude. What, I hurt your feelings by saying this about the fact that you cheated on me? Yeah. I hurt your feelings by not trusting you when anymore. When you cheated on me. When you cheated on me. But because you're hurt about it, it's the same as when I was hurt about you cheating on me. Right. So we should treat it the exact same and like I need to be begging at your feet for your forgiveness. Uh-uh. He was like telling all these girls that he's not in a relationship or something. He's manipulating them too. Right. right I right, can't right. even be mad at all these females. It's like there's Except a couple. For a few. Even if a guy has just broken up with the girl, like just broken up with the girl. Why would you want to be their rebound? Yeah, like what if they're gonna get back together? That's not cute, sis. It's not. It's, it's, it's literally not. It's these shysty ass <laughs> But the ones who aren't, who aren't the shysty ass <laughs> Those girls are also being manipulated. He's probably saying the same things to them that he's saying to me, like making mm -hmm. it all romantic. And yeah. using the like a monkey emoji, <laughs> like the two pink hearts. Like I know your game, bro. <laughs> Know your game. Not only have you used it on me, bro, but I've seen the text messages where you use it on other. <laughs> too. We have seen them, mother. I've seen them with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you want to sit here and call me crazy? Yeah. You want to sit here and tell me <laughs> that you're not around? Oh. Oh, that's funny. You want to play crazy? Oh, that's Cause funny. Cause guess who's good at the crazy game? Oh, it's it's mother. <laughs> Me. See, we're still going to therapy. We're still we're <laughs> we recovering. Are, we're, recovering. <laughs> we're venting to you. Enjoy. You're welcome. 
So that's that's my so that <laughs> is my toxic Scorpio ex for you, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Scorpio sun, mm -hmm. a Libra moon, a Virgo rising, a Sagittarius Mercury, a Scorpio Venus, and a Virgo Mars. We just found this thing online called a list of ex-boyfriend tag questions to help you gain closure. Did you consider the breakup ugly? It definitely wasn't pretty. I got to a point where I was like numb. Like no yeah. emotions. I just was like, you know what, f you. Snip. You realized who the f you were. You went from like relying on him, feeling like codependent on him, to like, hey, I've dealt with enough of this shit. I don't need. Yeah, like, I'm tired. I've had too many cherries on top, and I'm I'm done. Yeah, any more, and I'm broken. Yeah, and I will never be okay. Yeah. So yeah. this needs to stop now. Bye. Do you miss the relationship? No, I don't miss that relationship. I feel like I can appreciate like the good moments, mm -hmm. but then it's like, how real were those moments if he was able to treat me like that? It wasn't fun noticing things on his phone. It wasn't fun coming to his door at night and hearing him in his apartment with another girl. It wasn't fun having like anxiety over him saying he was going out with his friends because I knew that there was gonna be some girl there that he was gonna find cute because and he can't keep her. his in his pants. Yeah. And he would be drunk and he would like just not get of a f like I yeah. knew that he has no self control, so I don't miss that. No, there is no part of me that misses any of those feelings. Yeah, I think that the relationship was only truly good at the very beginning when we were in high school. Yeah, and then the first time that he cheated on me with <laughs> that should have just been. Yeah, it. how long was he truly loyal to you? Maybe it was like a semester, the first five months. Okay. Out of seven years. <laughs> I'll just ask my own questions because I know more about the situation than Google does. If we could go back and like do things again, knowing what we know now, obviously we would do them differently. But since we can't and you have to only focus on the future, what would you say from that experience that you were the most grateful for? I am the most grateful for how often would break up with me and make me feel so devastated because he had already he had isolated me you know like and I grew up distant from like my friends I never really told my family that much to begin with in those moments I was like alone and I had to learn how to be okay on my own mm -hmm. which I think is really important especially for like Pisces Venus Mm -hmm. because they can become very codependent and I think it's really important for everybody to yeah. like know that they can be okay on their own yeah. and that person that you're with is not like a piece of you like you don't need that that if they leave you you have now a piece of you missing mm -hmm. you, you really can stand on your own to you feet. can be like complete yeah on your own so I'm grateful for that because it taught me that and now like I don't take any from Spencer <laughs> now I'm like um Excuse me, I'm an independent woman. Yeah, you know, he's like literally, he's like being so for nice. me and like yeah. driving me everywhere. <laughs> we love Spencer. We love him. You can't even compare the no. two. No, <laughs> and I like and I liked Spencer from like kind of day one. Initially, when he first came over, I was like, this guy's dumb. <laughs> I had had a conversation. Yeah, What's yeah. What's his rising sign? He's a Sagittarius rising. Okay, he came across as kind of not all there. Not all there. <laughs> And then I literally had like my first conversation with him in this room. I told her afterwards, I was like, damn, he is, he has a brain. Yeah. He's not stupid. Like I was talking about some like music shit and he's a musician as well. And like like I, using terms that I do not, it's like a whole other language. He actually like, I knew what he was talking about. Like, and he knew what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, so he's not faking it. Matter of fact, he's not putting off a smart like, thing. Like front. And, and he really is. He really is smart. Just very soft spoken. And I think that's like perfect for you. It is really nice for me. Yeah, I am a dumb b <laughs> And like now you have someone who supports your passions and wants you to succeed. Yeah, he like wants me to do all this. He's constantly like, so when are you gonna like, you know, write the web series? What are you and Lacey doing next? Like, yeah. He co comes to me with like ideas for my passions so that way I'm like thinking about them. So that you're inspired. Yeah, that's what it like should be. <laughs> yeah, totally. On that amazing note, moving forward. It's gonna be great. 
has yeah, been great. It, it has, has been. been. And we can put all of that <laughs> behind us. Now we're gonna get rid of these things. Yeah, we've got a pile. <laughs> Yeah. The flashlight's on the other side, my dude. <laughs> this is why Lacey thought he was not all there at first. Excuse me. <laughs> you gotta stay cool. <clears throat> the flashlight isn't even on anymore. <laughs> Toss that <laughs> 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 I still have to stage my room, but I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. How do you feel, Spencer? I mean, how do you feel? If you're happy, I'm happy. Aww. I'm gonna stage my room now with this sage that I've actually been, I've had this for such a long time and I didn't know like really what to do with it, but I think its purpose has always been for this particular moment. There we go. There we go. This is called smudging. Okay, queen shit. Queen shit. So, have a good week. Clear the energy, keep it positive, keep it good. No matter what you've been through, you can get through it. You can come out on the other side. Absolutely. It doesn't define who you are. It just makes you stronger. Invest into yourself, invest into your friendships, invest into your career, and only invest into another person if you are getting what you need out of the relationship and if it's equal and if there's respect and trust and like all the things. If they're not adding to your life, they're taking away from your life. We'll see you um, every Venus Friday. Friday. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the Venus Babies. Like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Check out our Spotify playlist. And we'll see you next week. And we'll week. see you next week.